This queen used to make men duel to the death before sleeping with the winner. Her name was Nzinga, and she was a total power freak. She ruled Angola in the 1600s, and she did not like being referred to as queen. She was a king to her people, and she even ruled dressed as a man. It was a way for Nzinga to feel powerful by reversing gender roles, but it did not stop there. She was famous for keeping a large harem of young men, known as male wives. There was a whopping 80 of these men in her harem, and they were only allowed to wear dresses and function as women of the palace. At nighttime, she would randomly pick two of her wives and make them engage in a brutal fight to the death. She would watch with lust as men ripped each other's hearts out for her. The winner was rewarded with spending only a single night with her as no one ever slept with her twice. In the morning, the victor would also get killed and she would start all over again. You'd be surprised, but she only disbanded the harem after turning 75 years old, upon which she married the youngest member, a boy young enough to be her child.